Hey guys, what's up? I'm Lori McKenzie and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I thought that I would share with you guys what is on my iPad after having it for about six months. I use my iPad every single day and so I thought I would share with you guys what exactly is on it that I use. Just for reference, I have the iPad 7 and the first generation Apple Pencil. My case is from Amazon and I will have my case as well as the iPad and Apple Pencil link it down below in case you guys want to go get it for yourselves. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and let's go into the video. Here's my lock screen and you guys can go ahead and check out my how to make a vision board video if you guys want to learn how to make this. Let's go in. We can start with the center over here. Here's my batteries for my iPad and my Apple Pencil. Weather, 42 degrees today, which is actually pretty warm because it's been like really cold outside lately. Here is a direct shortcut to my Notion, which I will get into later. Here is the Bible verse of the day. Here is a Google Calendar, like sneak peek, so just a preview of my day. Then down here, I just have another Notion shortcut tab. Now on to the apps. So first we have FaceTime, then we have Find My whatever, so like my iPhone, iPad, and my Apple Watch on there. And then photos, clock, settings, camera, like basic stuff, reminders, notes, app store, that's the stuff that comes with the iPad. And one thing that you guys will notice is that I don't have the notification like this badge on any of my apps. I only have it on settings because I don't know how to turn it off for settings, but I just really don't like the look of that. <laughs> Extra is basically everything that comes with the iPad, plus a few things that I've downloaded. So I have Discord in here. Poshmark, Bible app, Pinterest, and Notion. Pinterest is my favorite app. I will continue to say this. Poshmark, I try to use Poshmark as much as I can. I've been trying to sell my clothes, but I just really haven't had the time and that's why it's offloaded so that the space isn't taken up by the app. And then now we have Notion, which I love so much. I feel like I talk about it in like every other video. Here's my homepage. Really simple, I just have a playlist. I have links to a lot of things. So my main thing that I use Notion for is for school because I can see what's due on what day. So like today I had a chapter six test due, but I already did it. And if you guys wanna learn more about this, you guys can go ahead and check out my first day of school vlog where I showed you guys how I customized my Notion. Okay, on to the Google section. So, for here, I just have the YouTube Studio app, which just is just analytics, basically. Then I have my files, TubeBuddy, which helps with my analytics and making sure that I'm tagging videos the way I should be and just engaging the way I should. TubeBuddy just gives me a lot of good advice and tips to help my channel grow and be the best it could be. But I have it on my laptop now, which is why it's offloaded on my iPad because I need the storage. Then I have Google Docs and Google Drive. I freaking love Google Drive. As you guys know me, I have to have organization or else I'll forget things. So here you go, spring 2021. To show you guys, I actually do use it. I literally have unit two, unit three, unit four. I have all of the work in there. Like I genuinely use Google Drive for organization. And that's why I always share with you guys when I organize my classes for the semester because I genuinely use it and I love it and I want you guys to be organized too. Okay, then this is school tab. Basically only just have Blackboard and Cengage, which is for Spanish, and then Blackboard is all my classes. Editing, I have CapCup, Video Leap, Adobe Draw, Canva. Canva, I mostly use the website for, which is why it's offloaded on my iPad. <laughs> Adobe Draw, I've been trying to get into writing on my video, and so this is the app that I use in order to do that. I just screen record that. And it's a free option for Procreate, basically. Because I know people use Procreate to write in their videos, but I use Adobe Draw. And then Video Leap, editing app, really nice. For text, I use that for text. Transitions, uh, a little bit better than iMovie when it regards to like, text and the fonts that they have. CapCut is really nice. I feel like this is a really nice editor. I feel like this is almost a better editor than iMovie, but I still like to go into iMovie to do rough cuts. But here I do more specific cuts and transitions. So I go between this and Video Leap a lot. Pixar is what I use for my thumbnails. I just import it and then I just decorate it however I want. This is my last video. You guys should go check it out if you haven't already. Splice is what I use when I'm drawing my videos. I import into Splice and I shorten it to be the amount of time. Then speed it up, reverse, all that good stuff. 
Then we have, of course, iMovie. These are just all the videos I've been making the past couple of months. There's Vlogmas. <laughs> Okay, Fonto, I used for the fonts. Um, so I'm gonna see some projects. So, yeah, so I just import my pictures into here and then I do the little thumbnails in here. Also, if I have like a title screen on my video, I usually use Fonto for the fonts. Visco, I usually come in here to edit pictures for my thumbnails, and that's about it. And that's all for editing. Now on to games. I only have two games. I have Among Us and Flow Free. And if you guys remember Flow Free, it's literally the best game. It's from like our childhood, literally. I haven't, but it's really fun. It reminds me of our childhood games. Okay. And next, we have a TV section. So we have Hulu, Netflix, and Disney Plus. Definitely staples. And then at the bottom, I have five of my essential apps. First, I have Google Chrome. I don't really use Safari. I always use Google Chrome. I don't use Google Calendar that much, but when I do use it, it's really effective because it pops up as a notification on my computer as well, which is really nice. And then here I have good notes. I did a whole video on how I take notes, so you guys can go check that out if you want to see more in detail. I also have a planner in here. Next I have my Gmail for my school only because I try to use this mainly for school and YouTube and not try to add my personal stuff into here. So this is my school email. Then I have YouTube because what else would be on here? There's my channel, you guys can go catch up on videos if you have missed any of them. And that is everything. I have one page full of everything because I like to keep things condensed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Follow me on Instagram at lauren.mac and I think that is all. So I will see you guys in my next video which will be next Wednesday, hint, hint, bye.